Hello, my name is Arthur, and welcome back to Mr. Excalibur. Um, part of the voice, still trying to figure out what that is. This is a film as of end of March. <laughs> and this video probably won't be coming out until the end of the year. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. This is the Taga Chiai or Cross Feather Katana from Sky Show. From what I have been able to glean from the internet is this is basically um, Sky Joe's flagship model. Um, this, it has all the classic cross feather design, which is the, of course, the uh, emblem of Scandro. So it has a lot of those uh, design markers. Let's take a look. In the unboxing footage, I got some really good close-up of the Hara on this sword. Um, this sword is made with a proprietary 0.7% uh, carbon, high carbon seal that schedule smells themselves. Sciento, in my opinion, really stands apart from the majority of sword makers out there um, for a couple of reasons. They don't really fit into the do-it-yourself uh, group like Sound of Sword, uh, Swords of North Charm any of those companies because they use all their own fittings. One of the nice things about schedule is all their all their ironworks, their castings, Fushi, Hashira, Habagi, and Suba are all custom done. You won't find that anywhere else. Two, they either exclusively smelt their own steel, or they simply have, uh, they simply do it themselves. One of the really nice things about the schedule, at least a lot of their designs, is their price. They all are in that mid to upper mid range of anywhere between the five to eight hundred ish dollars. They do have some on the lower end and they do have some on the higher end. But really the most popular uh, designs hit about the uh, a six, seven hundred dollar range. Um, I've looked at two other schedule designs already, and the other one that fits in the same price range is the Hanabira, um, which is a solid body, sword. it is a Mongo steel sword and is not full. This sword was a pleasure to cut with. The silk on the handle is really comfortable in the hand. 
I still use gloves, but pretty much it still was very nice to hold. Overall, and I'm actually gonna cut this rather short. Lots more information to come. We've got three big reviews that have already been done on this song that I've brought into this video really to try and make a comprehensive uh, log, I guess you can say, of how people feel about this design from Skydrum. A lot more information coming up. I hope this will be um, informative for you. Again, I apologize for the voice and we will see you next time. Bye for now. There's no chance for us.
Another one passed the dust. 